Hey, it's um, Deciphering AI, and today I want to talk about um, using ChatGPT with Obsidian, but it, it can also be used uh, for um, other purposes, but in uh, my example, it is Obsidian. So let's say we have the following Obsidian nodes, and it's about uh, 20 nodes, which are all in the um, in the vault, so it, it would be 20 um, nodes in, in, the, in the vault, which is not very organized. And so we will use the following prompt. Um, we will say I have an obsidian vault with the following nodes and then the nodes and then we will say there's already quite a lot of nodes. I'd like to adhere to the magical number seven, uh, plus or minus two. And so um, propose some folder structures. So it's um, plural, so we will likely get more than one um, folder structure. And where the top level ha only has about five categories. And let's see what happens. He even um, explains the magical number seven. And then here are the categories. He has categorized them into, let's see, into five different categories. And each category only has about five or four nodes. So as you can see, um, it's already much more organized. And then Mm, we can also do this prompt here. If possible, add useful items to this list of nodes. And then we can take um, these four and we can um, see if he comes up with more. And no surprise, um, ChatGPT is able to create more suggestions for notes. Okay, and then, of course, it, it would also be possible to take um, the title of a note and then let um, ChatGPT um, create the content. That's obviously also um, a possibility. So yeah, that was it. And yeah, don't forget uh, to um, sub um, subscribe if you have haven't already. You can also um, share um, this video with other people who you might think that they would be interested. And yeah, that's it. Bye.